Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I will be showing you this look. It took a lot of time for me to create this look, which I did in previous video. So if you haven't seen that, then I will be linking down that as well in description box with all the products that I have used today. It will be in the description box below. And obviously, I am not in a good shape. My hairs are not in a good shape today. But anyways, that doesn't matter. And I really hope that you guys will enjoy the video and without further ado, let's get going to the video. So now let's start our makeup. So the first thing I'll be using as a moisturizer today is Lotus Herbal Safe Sun Block Cream. So I know we are not going out anywhere but you have to put sunscreen on your face even if you are at home. So yeah, I am putting this, I am using this as a moisturizer as my base for the makeup today. <laughs> For the base, I'll be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer uh, in the shade Pure Beige. My favorite concealer, and it's about to finish. Like it's almost done, but I can't purchase it again because of the lockdown scene. But now I think so I can, so I'll purchase it soon. And for foundation, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Chotu Wala Packet in the shade Sun Beige. So what I'll be doing is I'll be applying my concealer and my foundation at the same time and I'll be blending that together and you will see the base will look like it's flawless and I have done it so many times and I just love the way it looks. concealer in this shade 20 sand sable so this is a bit lighter tone than my original skin tone so i will be applying this concealer to highlight my face like to highlight the points where the light struck <laughs> you can see the highlighted part of my face where I have applied a concealer a bit lighter than the original skin tone does help. The next thing I'll be applying is my color bar powder. Uh, I don't like this uh, much because it has a flashback and I don't like that much but flashback basically means when you take up any photo in the low light the flash comes and you know you can see the powder you have applied on your face that is problem with almost all of the powders but some are really very really good but now i have this powder and i just want to finish it and then buy something new so just apply to the places where you have applied your concealer <laughs> powder for like some time to bake and then we will move to your to our eyes which is the main part of this tutorial so today for eyes i'll be using my two favorite palettes that are makeup revolution reloaded neutral to palette and wet and wild cords palette this one so i'll be using these two palettes so first i will be using so i'll be using this color first to you know just apply all over my crease to give that base a good base using a fluffy brush like this it's our uh, brushes from amazon i have bought it since a really long time and they are very good so apply in the outer corners first like most of the products start from outer corner apply outer corner and then just take that in the inner corners and blend it very well actually this is a really very light shade i don't know why it is looking like a bit orange in the camera i don't know why but it is like a very light skin color sort of a thing <laughs> we will 
be taking red color which is this one basically we want this red color in the outer corners so just focus red color on the outer corners and don't drag that color inside like avoid dragging that color inside in your crease or something like we will drag because you know it should look like one but don't up start applying the color from the crease start applying from the outer corner because we want this red color to shine on outer corner so yeah so just tap all the color on the outer corners tap once again if there is any excess because we don't want to take that inside and then with the same brush with a really very light hand dragging the color only towards the crease so the next i'll be taking is a black color which is from this palette petan wild palette and this is a really very good black color as you can see a really very dark black color so you have to be really careful while applying this while applying such a dark shade you have to remember that don't take it in the in your crease just apply it in your outer corners where we need it just like to the very end and just blend it a little bit don't take towards your crease otherwise it will look really bad at least for this kind of a look I just thought today that we should go a little bit of glam so thought of doing a red and black kind of a smoky eye now we will be taking a blending brush again not the same one the another one the small blending brush and we'll, we will be blending this with the red one as you can see i am not taking this black color too much into my crease we will be just removing our baking so you should remove your baking long time back but i forgot <laughs> so i'll remove that now then i'll be using this very bright red shimmer this is my favorite shimmer from all the shimmers that are present in this palette like favorite shimmer and if you see the pigmentation you will know why i love this so much can you see the pigmentation of this shimmer it's too good so i don't know why the recording just stopped i did nothing but i applied a red eye shadow towards my lash line I'll be taking the black one now and applying to the lash line. Now we will be doing our eyebrows with my mini so pencil that I use it like almost every time. So brushing my eyebrows first. color black i don't know like the shade is not given but this is black pencil eyeliner or anything because i am really very comfortable using the liquid one only so you have made the wing then apply a really very thin line so this is how the final eyeliner looks we will wait for some time it till the till the time it gets dry so i'll be applying a blush now <laughs> apply 
fine so we will not be doing um, bronzing or contouring today because I don't like to do it usually so I will directly jump towards the highlighter which is uh, of sugar contour the force face palette we'll be taking the blur highlighter you can see here it is almost finished so i need to take the another one it is really very good highlighter so now i'll be applying a mascara which is the total temptation mascara from maybelline new york this is a waterproof variant. Yeah, this is a waterproof variant. It is in the black color. The only second last thing remains is our lipstick. So I'll be applying a wet and wild catsuit lipstick. In the shade of me, Mocha. The only last thing remains is a setting spray. I'll be using the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish spray, Setting Spray all over my face. today's video guys don't mind my hair because as i told you before that i was really very tired and really very really lazy to wash my hair today so i tied it in a high ponytail but anyways that was it for today's video guys i really hope that you liked this look that is here and yeah if you like this video then you know the drill press the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and also don't forget to press the bell button besides subscribe button so every time i'm online you guys will get notified also all the things that i used in today's video will be the links will be in the description box below if in case you have to buy it so yeah so now lockdown is opening slowly and i recommend you that please if you buy anything online so please buy it with a precaution and yeah that's it for today's video so yeah, we will meet next time. Bye.